Grace, first off, your reaction to being the very first person of Latin descent to become mayor of Palm Springs. I'm, it's very exciting. Uh, it's wonderful to be able to represent my community. My, my mother's family moved to the Palm Springs area in the 1960s. And so it's been important to me to be able to represent the Mexican community and the Latino community more broadly. What are your goals for the city? You know, one of the things that has always been so striking to me about growing up in, in Palm Springs is that it is a mostly retired community, yet there are so many young people here, so many people with children, um, and they're often the ones who are doing a lot of our uh, lower wage jobs. And so the community centers, the library, the parks, those facilities are really paramount. And so for me, I'm most excited about actually implementing our parks master plan and updating our parks. We've got money from the state for our library. So there's infrastructure upgrades that will be happening there. So it's a really exciting time uh, to support our, our community infrastructure. This was an extremely close race between you and Scott Nevins. I believe you only won by 64 votes. Your reaction to that? You know, so it's it's interesting. I think the percentage this time of my win is actually larger than the percentage of my win last time. Uh, but because I had three opponents last time and only one this time, it, it seems more striking. <laughs> but it's actually a larger percentage. One of the issues that was raised was the money that your campaign received, $49,000 from a political action committee, which is a lot for a local race and for one candidate, and especially when there are less than 3,000 votes. Do you think that's unusual? So political action committees are not unusual at all. They're very common. Um, many, many different uh, organizations have them. So my campaign did not accept money from a political action organization. That's not allowed. What happened is that a political action or a committee formed and they funded them, you know, themselves. They put out mailers. <laughs> that was all what they did. It wasn't what my campaign did. We had no um, say in, in what happened there. What are your hopes for 2023 for Palm Springs? You know, I really hope that we're able to secure a city manager, that we're able to really move forward with many of the projects that are on our on our plate right now um, and work together as a community to, to move forward. I think there's been so much transition in the city in the last year. I think we're all eager to come together behind common goals and behind a city manager and, and move forward. What do you think, Grace, will be some of the biggest challenges that you'll be facing as mayor? Uh, some of the, the challenges are likely to be dealing with the issues of reparations that has come forward. Um, also, the navigation center that will be opening. You know, the navigation center is something we've really been looking forward to having in our city. However, we also um, will have to deal with um, the, that, that transition as well and making sure that the surrounding community feels supported and that there aren't any uh, other issues that come about because of it. Well, since you brought up reparations, let me ask you, what do you, where do you stand on that issue? And do you think there should be reparations? Uh, I think this is a conversation that we have not had fully as a city council yet. So I don't want to speak out of turn, um, but I think it is something that we have to address. And the city has made several, um, you know, inroads on that in terms of an apology and the removal of the statue and and making sure that we're moving forward on the issue, which is the most important part at this time. Anything else, Grace, that you would like to say before we let you go? I'm just very excited for the future of Palm Springs and very thankful to all of the voters in District 1 and, and just all of the supporters across Palm Springs and the Coachella Valley. I, I really appreciate all of you. All right, Grace, we appreciate your time. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs>